Hi YouTube. I'm David Smolinski. And I'm sorry for not uploading many videos. I, I have a pile of videos that I have to upload and edit a little bit, but I've been kind of busy and I came up with this invention that I think is really, really useful. The goal of the invention is to allow people to breathe significantly warmer air in cold weather. And it does so by using the air that someone exhales to heat the air that they inhale. It's a heat exchanger. And this is my first working prototype. I went through several different prototypes, but uh, I think this is one of the final prototypes. Uh, like one or two prototypes before the final one. So I think the next pro I think the next version might actually be the real design. The version that's actually injection molded and designed for mass production. But if this looks a bit bulky, just realize this isn't the real invention. I mean, it's not going to look like this. But this tests the concept. And I'll need to open this up to show you how it works. Um, my invention is for a heat exchanger that goes on the front of a cold weather mask. Uh, so the mask won't be a makeshift gas, uh, a modified gas mask. But I just needed something quick to test this on. Now, the real mask device won't be as large, but it'll still be large. It has to account for the volume of air that someone exhales, which is supposed to be around 500 milliliters. So a little bit extra volume it's a good idea. I think I designed this with a little extra volume. So the the mask is it has its pros and cons. Um, from my inaccurate test of just wearing it in cold weather and and breathing without it, uh, it significantly warms the air. So if someone's in like negative 50 degree weather uh, and they have trouble breathing that cold air, you know, it, it's freezing their lungs. they would really benefit from this mask. Uh, you know, people working on, working outdoors, maybe they're working on oil pipelines or uh, there are many different construction jobs outside where people have to be out in really cold weather and 
still really want one of these, even though it is a little bit large. It, seeing as how it's kind of large, people will... Uh, it might have to be really, really cold weather for people to be willing to wear it. Uh, but the real version won't be this large. So, I'll open it up and show you the mechanism. Oh, and I'm kind of early in the invention process. I got a provisional patent. Um, I haven't spent the money on uh, an official patent search, but I did some pretty thorough patent searching on the U.S. patent government website and uh, and the Google patent search website. So the real version will have a lid that pops off really easily. I'm thinking a lot of this will be most likely be injection molded plastic. Alright, so the real invention will have two parts, a lid with a, an attached seal and the mask assembly. Now, I, these valves will most likely be uh, the, more like the circular valves on a respirator, but I just did what was easiest at the time. Uh, so the user breathes out through this one way valve, and I don't know if you can see it. And they breathe through a channel that winds round and round and out. And then there's another one way valve. Uh, someone breathes in through this other channel. And there's another one way valve that goes in the other direction right here. So. So a person's inhale and exhale will be in these two channels and the spiral creates a lot of surface area and the heat gets exchanged between the aluminum. So this is one single strip of aluminum, just a rectangular strip of sheet metal that was bent in a double spiral. And here's the double spiral. I drew it on a program called SolidWorks. And then I cut it out on a scroll saw. That was the easiest thing to do. I couldn't get the tolerances 
for the 3D printer at my maker space. So I wasn't trained to use that printer and I would have had to hire someone to use it, which I was willing to do, but I needed to know how narrow a gap I could get. Um, and to do that, I would have had to print like a, a circular ring inside of a circular ring and just make modifications of those two rings until I manually figured out the tolerance of that printer. Because the printer websites don't list the tolerances for most of these 3D printers in terms of how narrow a gap you can get. So, I believe this invention is very useful. I mean, personally, I'd use it even if it wasn't too cold. Uh, I mean, it does get in the way, kind of, so I wouldn't use it all the time, but uh, it, it does help to breathe warm air when it's even if it's not all that cold. So I think it's useful for a very large number of people. So if you're interested in uh, buying this patent or, uh, or you'd like me to do more tests or you want to do business, um, um, I'm unlikely to do business with people I don't know. Uh, I mean, I might, but if it sounds like a scam, I am I might just not talk to you, but uh, I'd prefer to sell a patent and have some other company make this product. But if you have any business ideas or investment ideas or anything, you can just contact me. I'll see you later. Please like the video.